Hello and welcome to Paper Daisy Journals. My name is Kylie and this video is a flip through of a junk journal that is available to purchase in my Etsy store, Paper Daisy Journals. It is A6 sized and that is 11 centimeters or four and a half inches by 15 centimeters or six inches and I think it has a five centimeter spine which is two inches. It has a hundred pages to journal on and a couple of extra um, decorated pages. It is covered in fabric but it is hard cover. It has some really beautiful um, book um, metal book edges. A beautiful glass vintage button and that's actually sewn on and keeping the ribbon closure attached to the journal this is a really nice vintage doily that I have cut in half and trimmed and I have sewn half on to the front and the other half is sewn on the back with a vintage mother of pearl button this is actually quite old this doily it has been laundered or washed but you can still see some um, marks from its previous life this is its spine beautiful vintage fabric and four signatures and you can see from the top and really nice size to hold in the hand the spine is quite flexible so there is some light card in there but it actually helps the journal to lie quite flat which is good for journaling and inside beautiful wax seal and some lace to start with and a little tag some scrapbooking paper a wallpaper tag a vintage book page tag with some lace along the bottom that's a double pocket with some vellum an encyclopedia page some Tim Holtz vellum craft paper Edith Holden book page this is a um, really cute tag with some sari trim stitched on all the tags are blank on the back and this is a really cute um, double bead dangle on the waxed linen thread. And that's just holding that tag um, to the side of the journal so you can move that around. In the middle of the signature, beautiful big piece of ledger. Here is a really cute ceramic handmade heart shaped button from an Etsy store. I will link that store in the description below, but that's on some um, vintage French trim. A really cute pocket made out of the same fabric as the spine of the journal. A nice um, little uh, ribbon charm dangling off there. Some more vellum. This is a tag from an Edith Holden book page in a little vellum pocket and that's just a little flip out there so you can journal behind it the next signature a little mini tag at the start that's a wallpaper pocket a beautiful embossed german die cut i'm right into those at the moment so you'll see a lot of them in my journals and some vintage diary page Another tag, this is using my French uh, printable in my Etsy store, some sari silk. And on the front there is a really cute um, heart-shaped paper doily stuck on. And this is a brown paper bag pocket. A nice little collage there with a paper flower on some music paper. Some vintage French trim with a little daisy charm hanging off some tea stain paper another big piece of vintage ledger in the middle of the signature this is a little notebook 
so it folds out quite a bit of journaling space there and holding that on is a really nice mother of pearl dangle that I've made so that just clips on really easily there quite a lot of um, journal jewelry on this one this is a nice stamped image from a friend Lisa from Vintage French Retro and Etsy, Etsy store in France and she sent me that with one of my parcels and underneath is a little secret pocket on a tag and just a little die cut stuck in there and that's on vintage music paper another embossed German die cut and some more Edith Holden with gorgeous um, gold vintage French trim for a little bit of bling and that's the other side of that diary a little bit of embossing a nice little journal booklet there with some yarn and this is a double pocket behind here is a collaged postcard with some tea stain paper on the back in the middle there's a little mini ephemera folder that i just made an embossed stamp on vellum which you can stick in the journal and this just opens out and has a little pocket here with an extra tag and one here as well with some sari trim and this is the french printable uh, french collage printable in my etsy store and an example of how to use it some beautiful lace stuck on there a nice big um, wallpaper pocket and some vintage book page with a beautiful piece of um, vintage french hand um, I'm not sure, um, hand sewn, hand crocheted, hand crocheted trim. We'll say that's what it is. <laughs> it's gorgeous though. I'm very lucky to have it. Um, and if you buy this journal, you will have a piece too. A little bit of decoupage there. Uh, this is something I've just recently done with an envelope that I've tea stained. I've just stuck something in between two pieces of the envelope and I've turned it into a tag and put some lace at the bottom I think that's a really cool idea I'll be doing more of that and this is another double charm dangle with um, beaded dangle on the waxed linen thread and this is on really beautiful handmade Japanese paper tea stain paper, another little pocket with some vintage fabric and more ledger this is a gorgeous vintage glass button beautiful red colour on some vintage French trim so quite a few unique um, embellishments in this journal some original French diary and another little Pocket. that's the um, William Morrison Co wallpaper the little um, strawberry thief bird and that's a handmade paper pocket there that's an original stamp this is a tag made out of that French um, printable that I have in my Etsy store and that folds out as well so you can journal behind and a little tag made out of tea stained paper with a vintage bus ticket sewn on. A little pocket there. And diary page. This is really beautiful handmade paper. A little collage there. Um, I've printed that French ephemera collage onto thick vellum. Just to give it something a little bit different in the journal. And there's a little bee on a ball pin there another one of those German embossed die cuts another piece of really big or well, folding um, ledger page a wax seal a light pink wax seal and this is another one of those um, envelope tag pockets and holding that on is an absolutely gorgeous glass heart-shaped bead with a little flower motif on the front 
that's so precious, that little heart bead. And more writing space, some more of that beautiful paper. And in the back here, a vintage book page on a little tag. In a double pocket, there's a little postcard with some tea stained paper on the back and some sari silk sewn on. And on the back page, um, a uh, pocket handmade by Kylie stamp there, just very subtly, and a handmade stamp stuck on the front of that. And I did forget to mention that behind this tag is Ex Libris Paper Daisy Journals, but again, very subtly, just so that you know um, where you got the journal from. And yes, I really enjoyed making this journal. Um, red, or raspberry red, I should say, um, isn't usually a colour that I... Um, work with much but I actually really enjoyed it I think it's a sweet little journal and yeah thank you for watching bye